have you been spending more time setting up big data infrastructure and environment instead of focusing on learning now imagine yourself in a world where you face installation and compatibility issues difficulties in configuring systems problems of rights and permissions network slowdown or failures have to download huge data sets sounds like the stone age don't worry we got you covered for you we introduce cloud lab with cloud lab you can focus on practicing the concepts you learned in an already set up secure environment it comes pre-installed with big data components such as pig hive scoop and more which means you don't have to spend time downloading and installing them or have to worry about configuration or compatibility issues. You can access Cloud Lab from your browser at any time 24 by 7. So, all you need is an internet connection and you are good to go. Simply Learn offers access to Cloud Lab for all your projects and practice so you can experience hassle-free advanced learning. So, curious to know how to get started with Cloud Labs? It's really simple. Let's show you how to log in and navigate. You can go to simplylearn.com page. You need to log in to Simply Learn LMS using login option on Simply Learn page. On login page, enter your Simply Learn LMS login ID and password. Once you log in, click on My Courses and select BDH Developer Course from the list of courses. Scroll down on the BDH Developer Course page and click on the Lab Access tab. Once you click, your Cloud Lab account with login ID and password details will automatically be created. Now, you will be able to access a unique login ID which you will use to access Cloud Lab. Below the login ID, you will be able to view the access password to log in to Cloud Lab. You can use Hide and Show option with Password tab. It also provides you an option of copying a password to clipboard. Below the password details, you will see three console tabs of Cloud Lab, Ambari, Hue, Web Console. If you click on Ambari, it opens up a separate tab where you can sign in using the same login and password details as on the LMS. Let me now show you how to use Hue. Following the same procedure as before, use the login credentials from the LMS and you are in. Now, if you want to use the web console, click on web console in the LMS page and enter the same login details. Now let's look at how to work on PIG, shall we? To use PIG in Cloud Lab, as we saw before, log in to Hue with your auto-generated ID and password and click Sign In. Go to File Browser and click Upload and choose the data file to upload to HDFS. Select PIG Tool from the drop-down menu of Query Editor. The PIG Editor is divided into three segments, Menu, Code Editor and Inbuilt Syntax. Since you are already logged in Cloud Lab, to use Hive, upload the dataset in HDFS and select the Hive tool from drop-down menu of Query Editor. The first part is the database panel on the left, which contains information on databases and tables. The next important part of this screen is the Query Editor at the top center, where the query is written and executed. The next part in this Hive screen is the execution window at the bottom. Here, the result of the executed query is displayed in the Results tab. Similar to Pig and Hive, for HBase, select the HBase tool from drop-down menu of Data Browser. HBase is NoSQL language. 
In GUI, you can create tables and upload the bulk data set or you can add the data manually. Click New Table and a Create New Table window opens. Here, you can give a name to your table and column family. You can also add a column property or an extra column family if required. Click Submit. It can be viewed on the window with values similar to the existing tables seen here. You can execute the query using the terminal or web console. Log in with your credentials and the command given here is just to perform a health check to ensure that HBase is running smoothly. However, you need to go inside the HBase shell to perform the HBase commands. Terminal is the most powerful tool, providing a command line interface to the underpinnings of OS. In Big Data and Hadoop course, most of the tools like MapReduce, Hive, HBase, Zookeeper, Scoop and others, the terminal will be used. Here, I'm using a few examples to show you how that can be done. Now that you know all about the Cloud Lab, remember the most essential fact about it. It's just a click away from you. So what are you waiting for? Just log on to Cloud Lab and practice your way to expertise.